So let's get into the unboxing of the Gravity Fitness XL Parallettes. And if you watched my previous video, that was on the Gravity Fitness portable pull-up bar. Um, I recommend you check that out, especially if you are wanting to create a home gym. A portable pull-up bar and a set of parallettes can pretty much cover you for most of your needs. So let's have a look at these. Ah, that's why it's taped up as well there. Wonder why it wasn't coming off so easily. There we are. So this, I think it came in at, yeah, 15 kilos. So pretty heavy. Um, similar to the portable pull-up bar. I mean, these are stored pretty well to try and minimize damage in transit. Don't think that's gonna just stay there, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll take these all out. But yeah, what made me get these was that I don't have a fixed uh, dip bar anymore. I was gonna just do gymnastic rings, um, but sometimes it's quite nice to use it on a, on a fixed bar. And also the bars I had before were it was a fixed bar, but it also had the attachment that came in through the middle. So if you wanted to do weighted dips, the plate would always hit that cross member. Uh, with these ones, obviously you don't have to worry about that. And uh, when it comes to actually tidying away, a set of parallettes is always gonna be a little bit better than one of those fixed bars because you know they take up less room overall, which is what I wanted. I've only got limited amount of space here um more than some people less than others but like it's something i'm conscious of space all the time and especially when you're trying to make videos you're going to be doing different stuff you have to like show it from different angles so sometimes trying to have enough space to be able to do it obviously the cat has seen all the little wires he wants to attack them. There you go, mate. How about it? That's Merlin. So, what we got here? It's not instructions, no. So, I think as well, unless I'm wrong, I think these are the ones where you can have different heights. So, let's get these bars together. So we'll try and clear up this a little bit. It's a nice, um, it's a nice thickness, and it's, an, it's got seems to be like matted or in some way, but quite grippy. Take those off over there. Okay, this is pretty thick. Nice, nice strong base. Yeah, nice. that's what you want obviously you need a nice strong support especially if you're going into weighted stuff or again you might want to use this stuff to practice your L sits or you want to just use it to something as simple as just doing leg raises like you want to make sure you've got a nice stable base for just general safety but I've never actually owned a pair of like dips dip stands like this before I've only ever had the fixed ones or with the pull-up mate too, you could lower that into like sort of a dip bar. So I had quite a big base, so it was pretty good, but I've never had ones like these before. So um, it's new in the home gym, but like I said, I got rid of my old dip handles. So they were just big and bulky, took up a lot of space and weighted dips in them were just crap. Right, we seem to have got all of the bits. We've got a little box here full of some bit make sure he's not chewing something he shouldn't be chewing okay so what we got here okay okay nice so we've got obviously some locking heads to screw it into place and then we've got some pretty thick quite heavy um 
locking pins here. So whether you need it or not, doesn't seem to be. Sorry, Mel's any instructions for it? I guess it, maybe they're probably thinking it's pretty self-explanatory. So what we've got all together is the two main handles, the four feet, we've got four locking pins that again, it's gonna set to the heights that we want and then these sort of screw in to sort of lock it into place. These are the handles. So these are, as you can see, pretty thick, very, very sturdy. They've got a nice thickness to them and actually quite grippy as well. We've also got the different height settings. So this goes 74 to 80 to 84 to 90 to then 94 centimeters. So we've got a good variety of height there. So depending on what exercise you're gonna do, you might find some more comfortable with different heights. These bars allow you to have that variety, so that's really good. The actual feet here are pretty thick, very sturdy, and obviously you've got some nice grips on the end to give it a little bit more grip on the floor you got, but also protect the bars, make sure nothing gets in. But obviously these are fairly thick, sturdy bases, and that's what we want when we're gonna be doing our dips for safety, but also stability if we get into sort of weighted or if we want to do sort of maybe like else, it's rather exercise like that. Having that stability and the thickness of these and that weight to sort of give that support is what you want. And obviously here, like I said, we've got these nice locking pins that are pretty thick and a good weight to sort of actually give stability to this bar. So let's get into actually setting these things up. So when you're setting these up, just remember that it's going to look like one side longer than the other see it is but this side is obviously going to be our inside one so we have them here and the longer side it's going to be in this side and obviously if we have the longer in this side like that that'll be sort of like our our right sided one so again the extra length is to give that support we need it on the inside of the bar so just remember that when you're when you're setting them up As you can see here, if I push this back a little bit, we've picked the height that we want. Say we're gonna go here, and all you do is you've got on the side here, you've got a locking pin that goes straight through, and now that's locked into place. Let's do the same on the other side. Make sure as well to make sure that at the same height Two on either side. It's probably very, very easy, probably quite frustrating if you kept trying to line them up because there's a little bit of movement there. Some stick I found a little bit, so it can be a little bit fiddly, especially because they both want to slide. I find easier doing one side than trying to do both at the same time, but it can be a little bit stiff sometimes and somewhere a little bit slidey. So take your time with it. Be careful because it's quite easy to trap your fingers in there, but it can be a little bit fiddly, but just try and have a little bit of patience with it. Next thing we got is we've got these ones that are gonna just sort of screw it into place and we have them on the end of the bars here. So that's the first one done. Pretty sturdy, pretty good. I did find, if I'm honest, these are a little bit tricky to actually get in. Kind of found like I was just trying to twist it and it just wasn't gripping it. So I don't know what's going on though, whether it's the leaning of it, but actually a little bit funny to try and get them in there, a bit of a fiddly bit. First one done, let's move on to the second one. Definitely a lot easier putting it down on its side.
and there we have it. That's the setup. Um, yeah, first time actually setting them up. Definitely easier laying them down on their side. That was a little bit easier because it's a little bit slidey. Some of these, I kind of found they got like a little seal here. Some were quite grippy. Some were quite loose, so it was sliding up and down. But overall, the setup is very, very simple uh, to do with the parts. A little bit fiddly, but overall, we're set with that. So let's have a look at them um, when it comes to actually using them. So these are the bars. Actually look pretty sturdy. They feel pretty sturdy. They're a nice thickness. And again, we're not at the highest setting, but obviously the lower these goes, the more stable they'll be. But these actually feel pretty solid bars. Again, sometimes I like to angle them so I can then change. Because sometimes you get here and you want a little bit narrower. Sometimes you can get a little bit narrower if you come in like this. And that feels more comfortable. But like I said, what's nice about them is you've got that. I mean, I guess what you could do if you wanted to, just spin them around. I mean, you might lose a little bit of stability, potentially, because obviously they might want to lean in. But you might be able to bring them in a little bit narrower this way. Um, and obviously then that might feel, yeah, that feels nice and comfortable there. Because like I said, I guess with this, they've probably angled the feet that way. So then you've got a little bit more stability there with the longer longer foot but that feels quite nice gives you a little bit of extra room <laughs> nice and deep and like i said the handles are really really nice thickness and actually really really grippy my hands are a little bit sweaty because the conservatory is pretty hot but that grips really really nice i quite like that it's comfortable i wonder as well whether i mean depending on what height that you've got and this is the other reason why i wanted to get a set of parallettes is that let's say for instance i want to do some inverted rows yeah, feels good. Guess you could probably come in a little bit narrower. Yeah, it feels really sturdy. There's no movement there. Even when I pull explosively, there's no movement there. So again, that's the real benefit of a set of parallettes as well, is that people think they're just for dips predominantly, but you can use them for working at your back as well. So you're getting a nice push pull. Again, if you compare that, or you pair that with the pull-up bar that also Gravity Fitness do, you can work the entirety of your body. Obviously there's gonna be people that might use this for, you know, you can do knee raises, people that wanna get into L sits, whether you wanna use these to like, well, I guess quite comfortably you could, not that I can do them, but any of those people that wanna go into sort of like a tuck push up, make the traditional push up a little bit harder. These are really, really sturdy, really comfortable and nice to use. But like I said, the fact that you can do the inverted rows, I think makes them good because if you're using the pull-up bar, unless you've got a set of gymnastic rings or you want to flip it over, which takes time, especially if you want to do supersets, pairing up the row with the pull-up is really, really strong, especially if you don't have gymnastic rings. But this, really impressed with these, really comfortable, really sturdy. A little bit finicky, like I said, with the setup, like lining them up, but overall, once these are set up, great. Again, compared to the other bar, if I want to have a dip belt here, there's nothing getting in the way, where normally you would have a cross beam. But without that cross beam, they're surprisingly quite sturdy. But now, there's nothing in the way. So I can do my dips, my weighted dips, and no problem. And most importantly, if you're lacking space, fold them away like that. Take up very, very little room. So again, if you're limited on space, fold them into each other. And now the room is a lot less now. And that's really, really cool. Again, a great addition for any of you that are working out at home, creating a home gym, or you just want to, you've got limited space. Something like this could be really beneficial. Maybe if you're even trying to learn the pull-up. Some inverted rows there, really, really handy. Maybe as you get stronger, you can lower them down, increase it, put your feet up on a box that could really make it quite challenging. So these are 79.95. Again, I've seen more expensive, I've seen cheaper, but depends on what you want. What you're paying for here is not only a really good sturdy construction, a very stable one, but you're paying for that ability to be able to change heights. So instead of you having to have different dip bars, like I said, the dip bar that I had before, and I'll pop a picture now so you can see which one I had, that one was fixed, the height didn't change. It was angled, 
so you could pick a width that you wanted, but that cross beam made it difficult to do weighted and it kind of got in the way. Plus when I had it, it took up a large amount of room. There's nothing I can do about that. You're playing with something you can store away more comfortably. You've got a bit more variety of exercise you could do with those other dip bars. They may be cheaper, but you can only do dips on them. We can now do inverted rows and we can do other exercises with them. So I think these are a really great addition to anyone at home. So if you want to check this out, there is a link down below and there's also a discount code if you want to save yourself some money. Check that out, support the channel, save yourself some money and also get yourself a great product. If you like this product and you want to see other reviews, remember I've done a review on the pull-up bar. I've also going to be doing a review on their weighted vest coming next. Make sure you subscribe for that. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content about product reviews, but also me using the products that I'm reviewing in workouts and helping you guys program to get bigger and stronger using your body weight. Guys, I'll see you in the next video.